Hey YouTube. Got another little toy. When I was down at uh, Farmageddon with Pops Quest, Rick is your six covered. Kind of uh, enlightened me on the advantage of using the shot timer. And uh, I still haven't got to play around with it a lot, but I have got it. Uh, might have seen my last video. Uh, yeah, look. <laughs> I got the covers off of it. I just sided this in. I hadn't really used it a lot. The only thing I've done with it is sided in. Uh, what I got was a Leopold. Flip it around this way. Leopold. Can't see what I'm doing. Rooster will let you know though, won't it? Got a Leopold 1x4 scope. This is actually a, they kind of consider it a hog scope. That's what it was designed for. But the thing I liked about it was it had a really thick bars going across. Bars going across. And I thought it would be good for fast target acquisition, which is what it was designed for. And people have shot this particular scope with, you know, 30 out six, 45 seventies, and just, I read all kind of review, reviews and everybody was really happy with it. Uh, and I went ahead and went with the Leopold uh, mount too, cause just to make sure it had the right height, cause this was made for a, this, mount was made for an AR platform so you know all in all I got about 300 bucks in it somewhere in there maybe a hair over uh, but I knew if I was gonna buy a scope go ahead and get a good one I've learned my lesson in the past with a cheap scope it just don't really work out good so like I said it's still not you know as far as it being a Leopold and I only got $300 in it it's not bad um, but while I was down there at Pop's Quest Place, Rob's, uh, I picked up one of his ARs, and I remember doing it last year too. I never thought I'd want a scope on my AR-15 or SKS or AK-47, whatever. You know, I'm thinking fast target <laughs> acquisition, <laughs> acquisition uh, or whatever, you know. <laughs> uh, fast target picture. I'll get it out here in a minute. Damn rooster. <laughs> Says quick. I can pick up my target quick. But anyway, uh, down on one power, I was wrong. I was talking about it on the chat the other night. And I said it, I said it had no magnification. Down on one, I was thinking that was just one to one, but that's not the case. That actually, even down on one is actually doubling the, you know, magnification. You know, you got one times real life or however the hell it's explained but uh <laughs> but i guess that's good because the front sight disappears even down at one scale uh it's just a very faint blurry image that doesn't interfere with the uh, target picture but the thing about it down on one power i mean you just it just it's just there it picks up very quick uh, something that kind of surprised me i was not expecting that i would have never thought i'd want to scope like <laughs> unless it was a dedicated weapon for long range so of course i hadn't played with it much but uh just sighting it in playing around in the house you know just throwing my head up and looking at it, it, it it's not hard to get the sight Sight picture, he's just right there, dead in my sights. I don't have to, you know, do this, move my head around. I mean, it's just bam, right there, you know. Uh, you can actually, you can have both eyes open, but it's, it kind of throws you off because this, looking through the uh, scope is going to be magnified, but it can be done, I'm sure, if you practice enough. Damn, I'm hot, I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> But anyway, that's my latest little purchase. So far, I like it. All the reviews I've read about the uh, Leopold Hog Scope or whatever they call it. I, I know it's got some letters and blah, blah, blah. But uh, 
I don't know. It's just, just something new to me, something, a different tool in my arsenal, you know. So now I can have a uh, quick shooting rifle and, you know, medial, medium to long distance shooter. I can crank it up to four and at least get a little bit better chance of hitting my target. I know when I was sighting it in, uh, the way I had this adjusted, it, I, I sighted it in at 25 yards. I went one inch below 20, you know, one inch, one inch below the bullseye at 25 yards. I've been told it should equal out to dead on at 100. Uh, so, but anyhow, playing around with it, I went from one to four, and the target was still just crystal clear, no fuzziness. It was absolutely in. Uh, focus which is it is adjustable a little bit well a good bit and uh, anyway it's my new little toy my leopold and yeah, pay no attention to this that's my gopro mount zip tied to the stock that i've done some shooting i, I just hadn't took it off yet because i still may do some more of that so anyway <laughs> latest toy in the tr prepper arsenal let's go Later, YouTube.